Hey, it's Caroline. Today I want to take you through my home ab workout video. When you're ready to get started, lay all the way down on the ground. Arms over your head, squeeze your tummy, come up and touch your heels, and back down. Good, so you want to really lift the whole body off the floor. And here, remember, speed is not that important. Quality is. So make sure to really put all your energy into your form, your breathing, and thinking positive. Good, so really lift up, come down. Let's do four more. Two more. Last one. Nice job, come all the way up and hold. Squeeze your knees together, roll your shoulders down and back. Reach your arms over your head, extend your legs, smile, lower down, and come up. Flip over onto one hand, and you're going to come up on a side plank. So here we're doing side plank on the hand. You can do it on the forearm if you have wrist problems. Top arm up, take the top arm behind your head. From here, I want you to take your top arm to your bottom knee. So you're going to come in, crunch, and reach. So I'm using this top leg to stabilize me so I don't fall over and I can really get the crunch into my obliques. Good, let's do a few more. I love this exercise. Good. Two more. Last one. Nice. Hold your side plank. Reach your top arm up. Come to center plank and hold. Belly tight, abs squeezed, glutes squeezed. Lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Lift your hands. Put your hands down and push back up. Good, let's do a few more just like that. So down, lift, down, up. Mmm, love it. If you're new to push-ups, you can do these on the knees. So down, up. Make sure you lift your hands at the bottom. Hands. Oh, you definitely should feel this now. <laughs> so really starting to feel the abs and the arms and the chest. Let's do two more. Last one. From here, lengthen your body out on the floor. Reach your arms over your head, reach your legs behind you. Pull back and forward. Now often people find that they do ab exercises and they only focus on the front of the body. Don't do that. <laughs> do the front and the back of the body for your core. So you need to train your abs, but your lower back, your obliques, your glutes, your hamstrings. That's how you'll be most successful in making results in your core muscles. <sighs> Let's do two more, pull back, and last one. Nice job. Center plank. So from here, forearms on the floor, tuck your toes, lift your body into a plank and hold, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, and breathe. You'll take one leg off the floor and you're going to circle it. So circle around in one direction, little circles, and then other direction. Switch sides. So other leg up, Circle. <laughs> Good. And then switch sides. Little tiny circles. And then center plank and hold. Squeeze your abs. Whew. Come up to a tall plank. Hold. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. Let's take mountain climber knees from here. So one knee goes to opposite elbow and switch. So we go side side. This is a great ab workout right now. <laughs> you should also feel it a lot in your arms, your chest, maybe your legs and your glutes, so it's definitely total body with an ab focus. Let's take two more. Last one. Flip over into your bot one more time. So legs in front of you, arms out by your head, 
really pull up through your tummy and let's rock. So we'll go back, little rocks. So we call these hollow rocks, but I call them bananas. <laughs> you can take your hands behind your head if it's hard on your neck. If it hurts in your lower back, it means you're using your lower back instead of your abs and you need to take a break. So don't do that. Take a break if that happens. Good, a few more. Two more. Last one. Feet together, hands behind your head. Come up, touch in front of your toes, and down and back. So this I call a CrossFit or butterfly sit up. And these are actually a nice recovery exercise because they stretch your inner thighs and they're pretty easy. So um, it's a good thing to throw in the middle of your ab workout because you're still working, but you're not working like crazy hard. Super nice. Let's take two more. I always move backwards on them somehow. <laughs> so if you migrate, don't worry about it. Okay, come up to a V-sit again. Shoulders back and down. Lift your heart, lift your feet, and your hands. Good. Breathe. Now again, legs out. If you're newer, you can always have the legs on the floor, no problem. Good, keep breathing. Lean a little further back and come up. Let's switch sides to the side plank. So choose the side that you have not done already. Top leg in front, bottom leg on the bottom. Top arm up and behind your head. Pull your bottom knee towards your top elbow. So you're gonna come in and reach. The first few are always a little rocky. And then once you do a few, you start to get the groove of the move. It's great shoulder stability too. This bottom arm is really working. Make sure it's directly underneath the shoulder. I have the tendency, as you just saw, to let my shoulder come way far out. Don't do that. <laughs> Good, few more. Ooh, two. And last one, center plank. So from here we swivel. Center plank and hold. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, and we'll try that push up again. So what you're going to do again is lower your body all the way to the ground, lift your hands, hands back down, and come up. Down and whew. Love this exercise. Breathe. <laughs> Two more. Remember knees. Great option. Sweating is also a wonderful option. Lower down. Extend the legs, extend the arms. So now working the lower back a little bit. Again, second time, we're gonna reach the arms back towards the toes and come forward. Now you can just do this with your upper body. So you can always choose to just reach here, especially if you're newer to exercise. So please choose the option that works best for you. And make sure you breathe. Sometimes when we're learning new exercises, we kind of forget that part. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's do two more. And last one. Nice job. Take it to a forearm plank. So forearms down, tuck the toes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. And then again, lift your back leg, little circles. And I always try to make my circles too big. So I really have to focus on, okay, smaller circles. Breathing. And switch sides. So we're gonna lift the other foot, little circles. And then switch directions. This exercise feels great, I love it. And then center plank and hold. Really squeeze your core. Good, from here, push up to your hands. And we did mountain climber knees the first set. This time I want you to take the same knee to the same elbow. So you're gonna to touch here and switch. And form is really most important. So make sure you're not trying to do this in a down dog or you will not get the benefit. So shoulders over wrists, nice straight body. I love it. Four more, two more, 
And last one. Swing over onto your bum again. Second set of hollow rocks for good measure. So again, legs together, arms up or arms behind your head, and hollow your body and rock. So I've talked about this before on the channel, but it's super helpful to exhale on the way up. Make sure you do that. It feels really good. Good, let's do four more. Two more. Last one. All right, take your right foot, cross it over your left knee. Hands behind your head. This is the easy exercise. So all we're going to do is crunch towards your right knee. So, and I like to extend my right arm out on the floor. This just allows me a little more space to bring my armpit to my knee. Try not to tug or pull on your head or neck. That won't help you. It just might hurt you. <laughs> no bueno. Make sure you exhale. Four more. Oh, I love this exercise. So simple, yet so sweet. Last one. All right, from here, both hands behind your head. Lift your shoulders off the floor and lift your feet off the floor. We're going into a double crunch, so my shoulders and hips are going to come together and down. And again, this is another simple yet sweet. Remember, exercise doesn't always have to be crazy challenging hard to be effective. Sometimes going too hard can hurt you, not help you. And it's better to do things that are done with quality versus intensity or speed. However, intensity or speed are great variables to play with. So use those. <laughs> Just use them well for you. Good, we're only going to do a few more, so four, and three, and two, last one. Hands under your hips now, legs in there, and from here you're just going to lower and come up. So basic leg lift, so easy here. Again, if you're newer to exercise, you might want to take one leg at a time, or you might just want to bend the knees. That will help your lower back a little bit, so keep that in mind. Try to roll your shoulders down and back, and avoid doing anything funky with your face. <sighs> Love it. My abs feel like heaven. <laughs> let's do two more, and last one. Good, let's switch sides for the cross crunch. So, left leg on top of right knee, and we're just gonna take our hands by our head, or one arm up, and cross. <sighs> and again, you wanna bring armpit, to knee, not necessarily elbow. Really get into those obliques. I am feeling this right now. <sighs> Smiling helps. Trust me on that. <sighs> Four more. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Two. Last one. All right, so from here again. Feet off the floor, shoulders off the floor, squeeze them together, and then reach them out. So in and down. Oh my goodness. I love this. So really squeeze. If it's too much with the upper body, check it out. Do the lower body. Or keep the lower body as is and lift the upper body. So remember, even if you're sleep deprived and you feel awful, maybe choose the exercise option that's not as intense. So you're still doing something, but it's smart for where you're at today. <sighs> Let's just do two more. And last one. All right, this time hands under your hips, legs in the air. You're gonna cross one foot over the other, and then we're just going to scissor the legs down and scissor the legs up. So you can go as slow or as fast as you want to here. If you want, you can even make bigger scissors or lift your shoulders off the floor. These I learned in dance, of course. <laughs> we did lots of these in dance. Good, let's just do two more. 
and last one all the way down, all the way up. Good. Feet together, hands behind your head, sit up, touch in front of your toes, and down. So by now, hopefully, you are feeling your abs. And remember, if this is the only little bit of exercise you're fitting in today, that's great. It's about doing something every day that helps you towards your goals. Whether that's choosing a healthy breakfast, fitting in a 10 minute core workout, making time to walk around the block with your best friend. It doesn't need to be crazy intense to really make really great results happen in your life. Two more. And that's the best part. <laughs> Last one. Good. From here, knees together, shoulders back, lean back, keep your legs on the ground. Lift your arms, V for victory. They have shown that when people raise their arms over their head, it actually makes them feel victorious. So next time you choose to do one of those great things that helps you in the way to your goals, hands over your head, V for victory. Nice deep breath. Exhale and relax. So feel free to repeat that video again two or three more times for a longer core workout. Or for more fitness videos, check me out online at carolinejordanfitness.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye.